discountjuicers.com today with another exciting episode for you where I am at today is actually I'm at the 2015 Natural Products Expo West. This is the largest trade show for the whole health food industry and I'm glad that I'm actually speaking here at this event uh, this year. I'm actually speaking over at the Tribest booth in just a little bit. So what you guys are going to get in this episode is actually uh, me speaking at the Tribest booth about their Slow Star Vertical Single Auger Juicer. I'll actually be making the Mean Green Juice and an awesome delicious salsa that you guys can make it home. So I guess up next, let's go into the clip. Uh, today what I'll be do demonstrating is the all new Slow Star Juicer and the Slow Star Juicer is not just a juicer, it also will let you process your foods uh, with the uh, mincing attachment here and you know one of the things that my life is based around is eating fresh fruits and fresh vegetables and as while well, many people here may believe a lot of the products in this hall because it is called a natural products expo you know, uh, may not be quite as natural as you'd like them to be and will not give you the level of help that you desire compared to simply just good old fashioned basics, fresh fruits and fresh vegetables. You know, one of the, the things that are missing from today's and every day's Americans diet is fresh fruits and fresh vegetables. Based on surveys that have been done, maybe like an average American might get two servings of fresh fruits and vegetables a day, which is a dismal in my opinion when many of them may be coming from potatoes and even something like ketchup. We need to really be having a variety of fresh fruits and vegetables in our diet, but the problem is most people simply cannot consume this many fruits and vegetables because it's going to fill them up. So what I like to do in my home personally is I like to take all these fresh fruits and fresh vegetables, run them through the juicer, and unlike a blender, you know, this will extract the fiber so that we do not need the fiber, you know, to get the delicious nutrients from. And, you know, you might be thinking, John, well, isn't fiber good for us? Well, there's two kinds of fiber. You know, there's the soluble fiber, and the soluble fiber is soluble in water, so it dissolves in water. So when you're making juices, you're getting the soluble fiber, but you're missing the insoluble fiber. Now, we do need insoluble fiber in our diet, so I wouldn't necessarily recommend living on juices, but I do believe that, you know, we live in an artificially unnatural world. We're not living under trees. We're not living in caves. We have cell phones. This is very unnatural technology, wireless cell phones, microwaves, a lot of the technology today are, yeah, they're quite handy and useful, but they're exposing us to environmental toxins that never before appeared in nature. And if I lived 100 years ago, I don't know that I would necessarily need to juice, but with all the influx of toxins in our lives, juicing is one of the best ways to get all the benefits from the, the different fruits and vegetables, the anti-cancer properties in the brassica family plants, you know, the anti-nauseating properties of the ginger, you know, the, the electrolyte properties in and the, and the trace minerals and the celery right into us without the fiber because when you have the fiber we do not uptake the level of phytonutrients you know the same level of phytonutrients for example they've done studies that are published studies on not kale but broccoli which is re closely related to kale when you make a kale juice in a slow juicer you get like 50% more of the cancer uh, you know killing nutrients than in something blended or even in a high speed speed uh, blender, you know, high speed, I mean a high speed juicer. So, you know, I want to have the most level of protection from all these environmental toxins in my diet, and that's why I choose to juice. And the best-selling juicer uh, of all the different vertical juicers we offer um, is actually the Slow Star Juicer because it offers an amazing value and does an amazing job at juicing. So what I'll be juicing today is very simple and easy. It's known as actually the Mean Green Juice. How many of you guys here have seen the movie Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead? So a few people. So this is a, a great movie. It's, it's on Netflix. You can buy it on Amazon. You can get a DVD of it all over the place. And it's basically a guy that came over from Australia who was fat, sick, and nearly dead, not healthy, much like the standard American of today. And he lived on juices for a number of days. And he, he had doctors that he was checking in with and got regular medical screenings and turned his health around, got skinny, got healthy. And, you know, he, he literally changed his life by just simply adding juicing. You don't 
to eat all these crazy supplements, in my opinion. You don't need to have, you know, change your diet to vegan. All you need to simply do is drink more fresh juice once or twice a day. Commit to that for six months, and I guarantee you guys will see a difference. So the ingredients today are just simply some uh, leaves as simple as kale. I love to really include the leafy greens in my juices. I mean, the per capita serving of kale that I've seen, you know, uh, per American is like a quarter pound of kale, and that's not per day or per week or per month. That's per year for the average American. A quarter pound, I mean, this is probably a quarter pound, because they might eat some as a garnish, right? We all know kale is a superfood. I mean, it's the new, what, the, the, it's like the new superfood that you're eating kale chips and kale everything nowadays. Why not get some kale in your juice? And more than the standard American gets in the whole year, literally every day in one juice. So we're gonna use kale. We got some apples for the sweetness. They also got some nice pectin in there. We got some ginger for a little bit of kick. We got the lemon for some nice flavor, some uh, cucumber that adds some nice hydration, and of course, uh, some celery that's gonna add the electrolytes. So, I mean, it's super simple, super easy to use the uh, Slow Star Juicer. We're just gonna go ahead and cut up some of these, some of this produce to get it in the machine. I like to pre-cut my produce, you know, and it's always gonna work better. And also, I really like that this machine, unlike some of the machines you've seen before that have a pusher, you gotta push the produce in. I really like that this machine is literally auto feeding. You cut the pieces in there, I'm just sitting here uh, cutting the pieces up at a nice uh, slow pace, and I just drop it in the machine, the machine accepts it in, and yes, you can even take, you know, the whole lemon, including the peel and all on the lemons and the limes, don't do this on your tangerines, grapefruits, or oranges, there's indigestible, uh, naturally occurring chemicals in the skin of those, but not in the lemons and limes, I mean, because we all use lemon zest in our recipes, and even the hard stems, that if you're making kale chips, you, not, you, you probably don't want to dehydrate the little stems here, but these stems are really rich in juice, and it's a nice mild juice compared to the juice of the leaves that are a lot more hardcore. So I love to put all the stems into my juice, and when I'm juicing in the vertical juices, I really like to rotate the ingredients. So I'll put a little kale, I'll put a little celery in there, and then I'll follow with a little ginger. And let me tell you guys, a little ginger goes a long way, so I'm even gonna cut that in half. So you do not wanna put a lot of ginger in. You'll put a little bit in and you'll be like, oh, that's too much. And then you're gonna have to like hold your nose and, uh, <laughs> and drink the juice. And I don't want you guys to do that. So I always encourage you guys to make your juices focused around a few ingredients, right? I try to always have like under six ingredients in my juices because I've made the juices that are like everything but the kitchen sink because that's what I have left in the fridge. I just pull all that out. Here's my secret tip. You know, if you're following a recipe or if you're not following a recipe, you always want to use something like these three ingredients that I'm using today, you know. Uh, cucumbers, celery, and apples. Like, have that as the majority of your juice. Use like this to unlimited quantities, you know, whatever ratios you got. Like, I tend to juice whatever is fresh in my garden. If I have a lot of celery in the winter time, I'm juicing a lot more celery be because I don't have the cucumbers because they're a summer crop. In the summer, I don't have a lot of celery, so I have a lot of cucumbers, so I'm making more cucumber-based juices. So that's what I encourage you guys to do. Try to eat seasonally as much as you possibly can. Sometimes I'll add apples, sometimes I won't. I really don't like too much sweetness in my juices. I like it more hardcore, but I know if you're not used to juices, it's really good, and especially if you got kids, you want to put more apples in there so they really appreciate the flavor. So if you do your uh, base of your juice with some, like, something like these ingredients, and then you add smaller of everything else, such as the kale, which actually can be quite strong, you know, you're always going to create award-winning tasting juices instead of juices that you got to like hold your nose and glug down that aren't so good. So I'm going to try to focus on putting a whole bunch of, of celery and I think we're going to go ahead and start to put some cucumbers in here as well. One of the amazing things I like about the Slow Star Juicer is that this is a, a basically a second generation vertical single auger style machine. You know, all the other vertical auger style machines here at the show and there's about a handful of them that I've visited, um, you know, they work a little bit differently than this because they actually have a hole in the bottom of the screen. You know, that is that hole is a is a hole that can get clogged and stop the juicer up, and then you know it's not going to work as well. The, uh, the with the slow star design, it's the second generation. They've eliminated that hole, so there's no hole that the uh, the pulp needs to go through in the juicing screen. So this allows for a better uh, flow of pulp out. 
and in my test this machine is uh, more efficient than uh, several of the other style uh, vertical single auger juicers on the market. This bulb is actually quite dry and I like, you know, let's talk uh, between the slow machines and the fast machines. Many of you guys may have the high speed Breville centrifugal ejection machines or some other centrifugal ejection machine, you know the ones that you can buy for about $100 at a local department store. Those run at high speed. You know, this runs at a, a low speed, uh, under 100 RPMs easily. The high speed machines can run up to 10,000 RPMs. So it's like if you live in Santa Monica and you get a scratch in your car, you know, you guys know because you're right near the beach, it's gonna rust pretty quickly. In the same token, if you live in Las Vegas like I do, you scratch your car, you know, unless it rains, and even if it does rain, it's really not gonna, you know, oxidize or rust as quickly. And that's what the high-speed juicer does. It really basically imparts a lot more oxidative damage because all the oxygen is being flung around, it's running so quickly. So you're gonna produce a higher quality juice in this machine than the high-speed machines. And that's why I choose to use 99.99% of the time in my own home a slow juicer actually this morning I used a slow a slow vertical juicer in my home to make this juice here and this is the juice I made this morning and this is actually for my parents and that's actually a prickly pear juice and actually you have the prickly pear booth over there who sells a pasteurized prickly pear juice which still has plenty of benefits they show that the prickly pear juice is has the uh, most ORAC score compared to cranberries, milk chocolate, plums, blueberries, pomegranates, goji berries, pomegranate juice, mangosteen, conquer grapes, but nobody knows about this, right? And yeah, of course you could buy the prepared product in a package, but even better yet is to make it with your own slow juicer to get rid of the seeds that we can't really digest. I mean, there's other nutraceutical properties in the seeds that cosmetic companies use, but you know, uh, the ORAC scores out of the charts for the prickly pear juice it's also taste delicious but also I learned something new today for me and I'm learning stuff all the time the prickly pear juice if you have inflammation is the number one inflammation fighting fruit in the whole wide world and that as I mature in my age is very important to stay young flexible and healthy you know the inflammation diseases that start with the that end in the ITS the itises are rampant through American society Society because they're eating oxidative foods, you know, foods that age you quickly, foods that cause inflammation, like many of the processed foods that may be here in this very hall, right? I want you guys to eat the best foods in the world, the ones that are anti-inflammatory, to keep you younger, healthier, and wealthier in the long run. So, I mean, super simple, super easy. To juice in the slow star, I love it a lot, and this is actually known as a, a mean green juice, thanks to Joe Cross of the Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead movie that actually put juicing on the map. It's so sad that you know nowadays, uh, you know, one of the popular infomercials on TV is now you know basically promoting the uh, a blender, a high power blender, and I think you know blending is good, and you know I would rather have a standard American blend some fruits and vegetables than not get them at all, but in my opinion, juicing is much more beneficial. You know, in my opinion, a lot of people in today's society have massive digestive issues. You know, they're not able to digest the food, whether because they're old, whether because they've been eating the wrong foods, whether because they have antibiotics and they don't have enough beneficial probiotics, which is part of your digestive system within them, you know, and they can't really fully extract the nutrition out of blended smoothies Plus, in blended smoothies, you know, there's less nutrients because that blender's running at 10,000, 20,000 RPMs and it's oxidizing the nutrients in there. You know, everybody always says, in the blender, you know, you're getting everything, the total juice and the fiber, and the fiber is good, and they're trying to sell you on the fiber. But what they're not telling you is that you're missing a lot of the phytochemicals and phytonutrients. And, you know, besides the calories, what I really try to live my life by is have these beneficial phytonutrients and phytochemicals, which are really the, the healing power of the foods themselves and not to mention you know the uh, the structured living water in the foods that you know we can't get clean water anymore from our taps which is insane and besides getting a really good filter in your house even better than a good filter and drinking filtered water whether that's in a glass bottle or whatever it's best to get it from the foods because that's nature's filter in addition you know the the plants all the plants the fruits and vegetables have a whole spectrum of 
vitamins, minerals, and other nutrients that are so good for us. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and finish this up with a little bit of more uh, celery in there. Maybe I'll throw a little bit more cucumber in there. And then we're gonna move on to another way that the slow star juicer can allow you to get more fresh fruits and vegetables in your diet. And that's simply by using the mincing attachment. And what I'm gonna do in a few minutes here is uh, turn all these ingredients into a fresh pico de gallo salsa. And that's uh, one of my favorite recipes. One of the things I like about the slow star juicers is there's very few parts to clean and they've made it fairly easy to clean. I mean, we just take this apart. Yes. And this auger comes right out. I mean, literally, you can just take this over the pulp catch bin and just wipe out the pulp. And then underneath, there's a little bit underneath here. Get your finger in there. Wipe all that out. They give you a special cleaning brush. And then you can take the screen out. The screen's very easy to clean. This screen has much less screen area than a high-speed machine. Once again, just wipe that down with your finger. Take the included brush. I like to brush it underneath the sink to get all the pulp off. Finally, we have the uh, automatic wiping screen that keeps the screen clean and also, you know, uh, it gets the juice into the collection cup and also we have this little cap here so you don't get drips on your countertop when you're done juicing. Very simple, very easy to use and clean. We're gonna go ahead and send a helper around so that you guys could have some sample juice. All right, so the next thing I wanna share with you guys is a, an attachment that uh, virtually no other slow juicer includes, and this is actually called the uh, mincing or homogenizing attachment. And this just basically goes on, and then you're gonna use the same auger that comes with the slow star. Drop that right in there, and then you're gonna use a special uh, top here. And now how this one works, unlike the uh, juicing attachment, which has two different areas where the, uh, the, the pulp comes out and the juice comes out, this literally just grinds everything up. So this is like a, basically a, a slow speed uh, blender because it just mushes everything up and then kicks it all out. So what we're gonna do is take our salsa ingredients, and little we got uh, tomatoes, we got a lime, we got some uh, cilantro, an onion, and we got some habanero. I normally would like to use some uh, cayenne or peppers are not quite as hot because a little bit of hot pepper goes a long way. So all we need to do is turn on this machine and we're just gonna go ahead and cut up our tomatoes. And we're gonna just drop a couple tomatoes in. Then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pull off some a little bit of cilantro, uh, put that in the machine. Very important when you're making this recipe, you're gonna to wanna to rotate the different ingredients you're putting in. Next, we're gonna go ahead and take some onion. So we're gonna cut the onion, cut some of the skin off. Put a piece of onion in there. Then we're gonna go ahead and cut up some more tomatoes. Just gonna go ahead and continue to uh, put in the different ingredients. And you can have a restaurant quality pico de gallo at home very simply and easily. Unlike using a food processor or other device, this is running at a low speed, so it's gonna minimally damage the uh, nutrients in whatever you're making. And also, there's very minimal parts to clean. I really like that there's a top piece, the auger, and this whole housing here. Uh, you know, I have used this attachment in the past to make other recipes. So besides making fresh salsa, you can make, uh, for example, my uh, roommate, Sandra Fruitsu on YouTube, makes actually uh, eggplant chicken using this very attachment. So it's a raw vegan version of, of a chicken substitute that's amazing. So you want to subscribe to her YouTube channel for that video coming up real soon. I mean, you can get so creative with the tool that Tribest offers that, that, make, that allows you to live healthier very easily. So now we're gonna go ahead and put just a little bit of that habanero pepper in. A little bit goes a long way. And we're gonna go ahead and continue to put some more tomatoes in and some onions and some uh, cilantro in there. Oh, uh, other ways I use this attachment is the most famous way is to make what's known as banana ice cream or banana sorbet. So literally another way you could get some fruits and vegetables in you and get away from something like ice cream that has the, the milk fat in there, which in my opinion is not so healthy for you, is by literally taking ripe bananas, you peel them, you freeze them, 
And then you put them through this attachment and then out this side you'll get a banana sorbet which tastes like ice cream. And you could uh, flavor that up with whatever seasonings you would like. Super delicious. Another use for this attachment is of course the nut butters. People love nut butters. You can go here and buy nut butters from different companies. But I always want to encourage you guys to make your food at home fresh. You know, we want to become the producers instead of the consumers. Grow your own garden, right? Grow your own produce and consume your own produce instead of having to go to the grocery store, right? Make your own sauce instead of having to buy it because when you make it, when you grow it, you know exactly what went on your food. And that's important in this day and age with all these chemicals and inorganic ingredients and all these, you know, GMO foods, right? If you didn't do it yourself, you just never know if you should trust the company because all kinds of things get in all kinds of products when they shouldn't be and that's quite unfortunate. So we're going to go ahead and just uh, feed a few more of these uh, tomatoes and a little bit more onion. Do the slow star with the mincing attachment. Let's see, let's go ahead and put a little bit more cilantro in there. Let's go ahead and uh, put the rest of these tomatoes. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn this slow star off. We'll tip that down and look how easy the rest comes out of there. And this is super easy to clean. We just got this part right here. We got the auger and we got this attachment easily rinses off under the sink and now we have our a delicious salsa right here a nice consistency and uh, you know I don't recommend you guys eat tortilla chips or any kind of corn chips which may be GMO because corn is GMO or any kind of soy based chips I would encourage you guys to eat more fruits and vegetables so if you want to have jicama which is an amazing root vegetable available at many Mexican markets you can cut those up you could cut up sunchokes which is one I like my favorite tuberous crop is yacon but you could use something as simple as a uh, cucumber some beets or even some carrot chips we're just going to slice these up into little chips and you can get like a special waffle cutter to waffle cut these so they look a little bit special you can get a mandolin try that sells an awesome mandolin that's actually quite sharp to cut precision slices every single time we can have little uh, cucumber chips with your fresh salsa and eat a, a healthy meal that you created at home all with the slow star juicer. Not only making you know foods for your breakfast and you know juicing for breakfast is one of the best ways you can start including uh, include juicing in your diet because most people aren't used to drinking juice. But you know when you th if you think about the word breakfast, you're literally breaking your fast from sleeping of not eating for the last eight hours. So you know upon waking, I like to just drink some water. You know, and just drink that right when I wake up to make sure I'm fully hydrated and then just go ahead and work I'll work for four hours two hours you know depending on how long and then I finally get hungry and that's when I like to have a, a juice in general or a smoothie or maybe some fresh fruit something really light for my digestive system to you know give me give me some energy that I'll need for the day and of course later on in the evening I might make some my uh, delicious salsa mm, quite good now you could flavor that up with some salt if you'd like you could use some like uh, sea vegetables and of course you can't forget the lime i forgot the lime we'll just put that in there and yes yeah, it's a really delicious salsa easily made in the slow star juicer i've done it and now you can do it too Hope you guys enjoyed this presentation. Learn how to juice the mean green and make some fresh, delicious salsa in the Slow Star Juicer. If you want to learn more about me and my work, you can visit me at my different websites, okraw.com. I teach about uh, living a healthy, plant-based, raw foods diet. You can visit me at discountjuicers.com where I sell the different juicers and have over 400 videos comparing the different juicers and appliances. You can also visit me at growingyourgreens.com. I have over 200,000 subscribers and I've been viewed over 28 million times, over a hundred, a thousand videos teaching you guys how to grow your own food at home so that you can live a healthier lifestyle. And that's what the TriBest products do as well. Thank you. So I hope you guys enjoyed that episode learning how to make the mean green juice and the slow star and also how to use the mincing attachment to make the salsa as well as other different foods. If you enjoyed this video, hey, please give me a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I have over 400 different episodes comparing different kinds of juice results. Be sure to check my past episodes. And if you want to support me and my work, be sure to visit our website at discountjuicers.com. Once again, my name is John Kohler with discountjuicers.com. Be sure to visit discountjuicers.com. Dot com slash YouTube for special promos for offers for YouTube visitors. All right, this is John Colo at DiscountJuicers.com. Today we have another exciting episode for you. And what I'm going to do today is use some of my favorite appliances, including the Vitamix.
blender and the Kuvings whole slow juicer to make a kid's favorite food, 